What's up, Crypto Nation? Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host here, Fareed. Today, we're diving into a brief article touching on Apex Fusion. Now, if you missed my introduction into Apex, please make sure to go ahead and check that out. But in a nutshell, it's aiming to unite the UTXO model, which Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Cardano use, with the EVM model that Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and BNB use. So if you guys want to find out more about that, please make sure to check that video out. It breaks down the architecture, which is composed of Prime, which is also known as their anchor chain or their layer one, followed by Vector, which is their layer two integrating UTXO based apps in Nexus, which is also layer two integrating the EVM model dApps. So jumping straight into today's article, it states Apex Fusion prepares for release with 20 plus launch partners, including Tenderly. Now, I believe we've touched on a couple of the launch partners from the Cardano side, but I want to highlight tenderly in the impact that this has from the EVM or the Ethereum side. So it starts off by stating emerging chain attempts to unite Ethereum and Cardano ecosystems with tenderly and Charlie three with dozens more listed as launch partners. Again, the value here is huge, right? Imagine being able to tap into the liquidity that a platform like Ethereum has with the security, right, and the reliability that the UTXO model brings, for example, like we've seen in the Cardano ecosystem. So really the best of two worlds, or the best of both worlds coming together. Now it states, Apex Fusion is preparing for launch by announcing a cohort of ecosystem partnerships. The new network will support enterprises and businesses from the Ethereum virtual machine ecosystem or EVM ecosystem and the unspent transaction um, world or the UTXO world. Now it states, therefore, Apex Fusion is set to defragment the blockchain space by launching a new multi-chain network with native interoperability. Now, this is the piece that focuses strictly on Tenderly and how this benefits the development in terms of infrastructure for the EVM-based apps. So Tenderly, a full stack decentralized infrastructure development enterprise from the Ethereum ecosystem is joining the ranks of other projects launching on Apex Fusion. Their services include on-chain deployment, integrated de development environments in support for decentralized projects. Now, I want to quickly take a look here at the official website, but before I do that, I want to highlight this piece by Ivan, their VP of strategy, stating he loves the anti-maximalist vision of emerging Ethereum, or excuse me, of merging Ethereum, Cardano, and the Cosmos ecosystems. So Cosmos already behaving sort of as a layer one of bridges, right? There's, I think, over like 90, potentially even over 100 now um, different protocols that use the Cosmos SDK, which allows for them to all be interoperable. So then to add on top of that networks, for example, like Bitcoin, Cardano and Litecoin, in addition right to Ethereum, Polygon, etc., would make for a huge powerhouse of an ecosystem or a huge powerhouse of a blockchain. Now, jumping a little bit deeper into Tenderly again here, they provide a full stack Web3 infrastructure and they touch on smart contract development, smart contract integration smart contract monitoring infrastructure. And then at the very bottom here, they talk about supported networks. So of course, we've got Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, Polygon, um, the Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Moonbeam, Phantom. And then scrolling down even further, they talk a little bit about, a little bit about some of their trusted industry leaders that they've partnered up with. So we've got Chainlink, SushiSwap. Um, we've got, let's see here, Aave. We've got Polygon. I mean, pretty big names here when it comes to Tenderly. So to see and to hear and to have confirmation that Tenderly is already on board with Apex Fusion, to me, gives it that much more credibility. Now, let's quickly clo close out this article for today's video. Now, it continues to read on. Eternal, Zeef, and the MVP Workshop have all also publicly voiced their commitment for the new network on X or formerly known as Twitter. Now, this is where they shift a little bit into the Cardano side of the equation, touching on Charlie 3, which you probably already know is a decentralized Oracle here building an ecosystem. But it states that Charlie 3 from the world of Cardano has also announced that they're willing to begin building on the Apex Fusion multi-chain network. In addition, they talk about TX Pipe, which brings over infrastructure resources, very similar to Tenderly, right? But from the Cardano side of the equation. So TX Pipe and Eternal, which is a wallet, will also be joining the new platform to unite ecosystems. In closing, the Apex Fusion Network, founded by a cross 
multidisciplinary team of veterans from Ethereum and Cardano set out to create a multi-chain network that aims to defragment the Web3 landscape for everybody. In closing, it states that Apex Fusion is currently running on a private testnet, but it will soon become public. As far as I know, there's been no release of an official launch date yet for the mainnet, but given the track record and just some of the partners that they've announced so far, it does seem like there's a lot going on in the background in terms of the infrastructure and just the laying down of the groundwork. Now, new projects from both the EVM and UTXO worlds continue to be announced as launch partners. That'll do it here for today's video, touching on the announcement made by Tenderly and the fact that they'll be supporting the Apex Fusion blockchain as well as the Charlie 3 protocol TX pipe in the Eterno wallet from the Cardano ecosystem. Hopefully you guys found this particular video to be helpful. If you did, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, then leave them down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.